Hello, I'm Shima Wang, Dean and the University Librarian at the University of Cincinnati. While at the Emory University, I participate the ARS first cohort class of E Science Institute at Atlanta, Georgia. When I moved to the Cincinnati, I felt this institute would be a real opportunity for UC. I saw it as a chance for the libraries and the UCIT, our central IT organization on the campus. The two key organizations are responsible in managing information and the technology to partner together to take a critical look at the university's current and future digital scholarship and research agenda. My hope was that our participation in the institute would help us form an institution-wide or university-wide e-research strategy and to launch an effort to meet present and future research needs of our faculty and students. When I called my colleague Nelson Vincent, university CIO, with this idea, his response was exciting yes. I then asked Steve Marine, Associate Dean of Special Connection and Digital Initiatives of Library, and Ted Baldwin, Director of Science and Engineering Library, to join the team that would participate in the Institute. Over the past year, the Institute has catalyzed not only our partnership and accelerated our progress on numerous initiatives, but also our participation has provided our organization with some tangible examples on how research libraries are forming strategies to fulfill their emerging and transformational new roles. Now you will hear from Nelson, Steve, and Ted. Thank you. Here at the University of Cincinnati, hashtag Hottest College in America, about a year ago in August of 2012, there was a happy coincidence. The new Dean of Libraries arrives, Dr. Shimu Wang, and new Vice President for Technology and CIO arrives, myself, Nelson Vincent. First day on the job, I received a phone call from uh, Dean Wang, and he said, we have to join the Coalition for Networked Information. We're behind on e-science. There began the story. So within two months, we were in D.C. at the meetings of the academic research libraries and learning about a strategy for launching e-learning on the campus of the University of Cincinnati. Fortunately, we weren't starting the conversation cold, but it didn't have leadership. It didn't have anyone out in the field educating the leadership of the university as to the needs and the opportunities of e-science, or digital humanities for that matter. When we started the project, we determined we were going to meet the needs of 13 academic colleges, everything from arts and sciences to medicine. So we came back from Washington, D.C. For the, from the meeting of the Coalition of Network Information and started our self-assessment work. We committed to attend the Institute. And here we are almost a year later with a campus that's much more educated about the opportunities of digital repositories supporting e-science. We think that the most important thing that we learned was the power of partnerships. This is not just a project of academic research libraries and the chief information officer. It's a project that brings together the deans, the vice president for research, the faculty senate research committee, a large constituency of folks who are building the momentum for e-science on the campus. Of course, what we found out is there was already a lot of e-science going on. It's just people didn't use the term e-science. From the baseline of our self-study, which we uh, widely disseminated on the campus, um, We've discovered that there is indeed a great deal of e-science going on, a, a great passion for analytics, big data, and a real desire to start building the repository. So we're going forward together into what we call um, financial formulation here at the University of Cincinnati and building the momentum to actually get our digital repository up and running uh, to continue the education of faculty and staff to make this resource available to the community and to continue our work of actually supporting and growing e-science capacity on the campus of the University of Cincinnati. Strategically, we're connecting this with the university's academic and research plan going forward into what we call the third century. And this will be one of the anchor resources of our academic and research mission here at the University of Cincinnati, based on a formal partnership between IT and libraries, faculty senate, 
governance and research. And we're looking forward for great outcomes from this investment. As Nelson said, the process of the eScience Institute opened the door for new opportunities to collaborate and fully partner. We are moving ahead rapidly on multiple fronts, systems, learning spaces, workforce transformation, and education to build and sustain eScience capacities. A next generation digital repository is now under development and will be a flexible and modular system based on Fedora's open source Hydra framework. The development team and process embody a strong collaboration, and we have a new software R&D unit that pulls together shared staff from across multiple campus partners, including UCIT, college IT units, and UC libraries. In time, the digital repository is expected to become a strong option for the data-intensive needs of researchers from across the institution, including the sciences, engineering, health sciences, and digital humanities. UC Libraries is also planning for a research commons in science and engineering through the repurposing of existing library spaces. This space will support both research and teaching needs and will contain a large-scale visualization theater, collaboration spaces, and high-performance computing. We are excited by the many positive conversations we've had with faculty regarding their need and potential uses for this space. We anticipate future collaborations with academic departments and UCIT on such things as data-related instruction, and consultation services. Further into the future, we plan to develop an informatics commons within the Health Sciences Library. As strategic planning processes move forward, we also look to workforce transformation. Our recently hired clinical and research informationist, based out of the Health Sciences Library, has a clear focus on e-science support and education. She has already been an integral member of the development team for the new University of Cincinnati Research Directory. At present, we have open searches for two additional research integrated faculty positions. A science informationist who will be a lead member of the Research Commons team and a research informationist in the Health Sciences Library. On the ground, we continue to build the knowledge base on campus through educational offerings on data management and literacy. The Health Science Library's research series, first offered last spring and once again this fall, includes workshops on data management planning and discovering data sets. I've been a co-instructor for the data management planning workshop, and I've experienced firsthand the wow reaction from UC researchers and grad students who haven't previously thought of UC libraries as a key player in terms of e-science support. We are bolstered by the broad support and affirmation for our roles in this new environment. Hello, I'm in my 25th year at the University of Cincinnati and as I tell people, I have never been this excited, this optimistic about the direction that the university is headed. Uh, why, you may ask. Why? why? And I get a why. I got a why. Uh, it's, it's really because of our new leadership, pr progressive leadership. You've met Shimo, you've met Nelson, uh, but we also have a new president, a new provost, a new VP for research, and a host of new deans. And they get it, as I tell people. They share a vision. And I've actually heard them say they like to work with each other. In a sense, they, they, they made our work for the Institute easy. They participated. They opened doors. And the work we did for the Institute, the self-assessment, the SWOT, the data analysis, set the stage for a lot of very aggressive strategic planning exercises, interlocking where it makes sense, uh, mostly underway right now in the UC libraries and in UCIT. Uh, because of this rapid evolution, there was really no need for a final institute report. Uh, we leapfrog that in a sense. And even before these strategic plans are completed, we're making progress on what we consider some no-brainer initiatives, those that Ted talked about. Uh, by some initial reallocation of resources, leveraging of existing talent, uh, you know, a few strategic hires and partnerships uh, were off and running. I want to thank my colleagues here at the university, and I want to thank the eSciences Institute.